What's up guys, welcome to On Our Shelf. Today I have the Tac Life Automobile Accessory Onboard Diagnostic Scanner. If you have a car 1996 or newer, you may wanna consider one of these. And for short, it's also known as the OBD2 scanner. So let me get my knife, open it up, and see what comes inside. So the first thing we have is the scanner itself. It's black with orange buttons. A warranty card, product specification card, and instructions manual. So here's your 16 prong plug that plugs into your vehicle. Here's your pretty thick power cable. It's around three feet long. You have an LCD backlit display, which is very bright and easy to read. A help button, a home button that takes you back to the main menu, up and down navigation buttons, and yes and no buttons that have quite a few functions such as selecting uh, menus and canceling selections as well. So we have a service engine soon light on at the moment. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what it does or how well it works. So here is our OBD2 connector on our car. It's underneath the steering wheel. Let's go ahead and plug our connector into it. That should power up the device. So far so good, it's on. Now let's go ahead and run a diagnostic test and see what the problem is. By the way, before performing this test, it says to turn your car into the on position, but to not have the engine running. So have the accessories, the electronics, everything on, except for the engine, and then plug this tool in. So we're gonna go to diagnostics, then auto scan. We're gonna hit yes, it's gonna scan, and then tell us what's triggering the service engine zoom light. All right, it's all done that quick and it says that we have one code found. Let's hit yes, read DTCs, read all DTCs, and there's our code, P0420. Now it's telling us to select our make. We have a Nissan. There we go, let's hit yes, and bam, there we go. Cadillac Converter System Bank 1, efficiency below threshold. Now, if you know anything about cars at all, you know that this code can mean a lot of things, but what this thing does do is gives you an idea of where the problem's at. From there, you can go on the internet, type the code in. I found this website right here, which expands on the codes even more. From here, you can look at causes, problems, symptoms, and solutions, and then from there, you can decide is it something you can fix, or does it require a mechanic with skills way beyond yours. If you're able to fix the problem or you get the problem fixed, this device also allows you to clear the code so you can turn the service engine soon light off. Now, there's a lot more options and mains on this device as well. I'm not quite sure what they're for. I'm not a mechanic by any means at all. So I'm gonna just go through some of them so you can just kind of get an idea because if you're considering this and you need kind of an advanced tool and you wanna know if this tool is advanced enough, uh, I'm gonna just browse through some of these menus so you can just at least know what you're gonna get if you when you take this thing out of the box. So for more information on this product or to purchase this product, I will put an Amazon affiliate link below. You can also check out that link to see some of the reviews of what people have thought about this um, particular uh, scanner that have bought it. And please like, please share this video. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, please do so. Till next time, take care. I'll see you guys in our next video. And thanks for watching.